Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Course Party Book of Shadows. When we left off, I was actually kind of lost. And I think I'm going to have to go through each of these squares one by one to figure out what the crap is going on. So, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and kind of wander and I'll go ahead and cut back when something actually interesting happens because I don't want you guys to have to see me wander around for like 20-30 minutes. I guess I'm just going to have to see you guys in a little bit. So, yeah. By the time we're back, we'll be making some progress. Yeah, this hallway was dark before. Yeah, cold water. No. So we still can't go this way. Both faces were staring directly at me as if I'd somehow been designated to be their de facto leader, so at a moment's thought I suggested we turn back. I didn't much care either way, but they obviously did, so it seemed the best course of action at the time. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? This is different. Okay. What? I've been wandering around this school, trying to figure out what the crap to do. And I went back, because I said I was going to check it square by square. So I checked the second floor, I'm checking the first floor, and I accidentally went back to that hallway, the super long hallway, where it gives you the option to, to move forward or not. And I was like, well, obviously we can't go, so I turned back. And now this little cutscene's happening. So, I'm supposed to revisit the hallway that I had already checked? I'm guessing she dropped the statue. Yeah, she dropped the statue. Maybe there's something in it. I swear, if all we had to do was break it, I would have just thrown it against the wall or something. Wow. I still can't believe that's what triggered it. You had to go back to the hallway. I already gone. I already went down that hallway. And now I have to go back so that this would happen. So that she would drop the statue? Really? Why wouldn't it happen if you're just wandering around for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes? Anyways, I'm gonna relax. And we're gonna find out what's gonna happen. That's what we're gonna do. Smash it. As they say, sometimes the simplest solution really is the best. If we wanted to see what was inside this thing, there was one surefire method. Smashing against his head. The Goya sculpture hit the ground with all the force I could muster and shattered into countless pieces. And there, among the wreckage, was a key made of copper. It looked old since it had been sealed away from the elements all this time, but there wasn't a single trace of rust or corrosion on it. Alright! Clearly, this was an important item to have found. Not aware that Mitsuki's bag was not the safest place to store things, however, I pocketed it myself. That took way too long. That was the most twisted logic. Uh, was it this one, the 4A that was locked? That that logic was so twisted, I, I still can't get over that fact. I need to just move forward, but holy cow. They really did want you to wander the school forever and ever and ever. Alright, now, I think the key is going to go here. Because if I remember right, this one was locked. It wasn't frozen. It's locked up tight. Yes, use the key. Perfect. With a click, the door unlocked. Now, we're making some progress. Okay, awesome. Fantastic news. I'm so happy that we're actually going somewhere now. Oh, I remember this room. Yeah, this is the one with all the wires and stuff. You guys better watch your step. Your head's gonna come off. Alcohol lamp. Okay. I had noticed him at first, but Mitsuki was correct. There were small bloody handprints on the alcohol lamp. Small enough that were most likely made by a child or children. True. 
This wasn't something we could leave behind. It was a real stroke of luck that we stumbled upon something so inherently useful. Okay. Anything else? Anything on the blackboard? Chalk picture drawn on the board. She was a high school girl who was just run over by a steamroller. What? And at the helm of the steamroller is a young looking child with a big smile on her face. Okay, that's a little very messed up. Uh, I guess this is all we got left. Some sort of mechanism with the lever attached to it. That might be a good thing. Okay, so what do we do with the lamp? Uh, do I need to go back down that dark, dark hallway? Maybe? Because that was the problem, right? We couldn't see where we were going and it didn't seem like it ended. I don't know. I'm just guessing now. We have a lamp. And I think she has matches. I think. I forgot what her name was, though. Already. Here we go. Uh, yeah, let's light the lamp. Oh, Mitsuki. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you did. Good for you. I don't know if this is going to make any difference, though. As the wick flared up, the whole hallway was bathed in warm blue glow. Blue? And somehow, the darkness just seemed to shrink away from it, powerless against this unexpectedly capable opponent. So, should we try going to the locker room? We made it! That's so freaking weird. Okay, that's nothing different. Is this anything different? Not nearby, folded neatly three times. Okay. Yep, I remember this. Yep, 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 we're good. I've read it all! Oh, come on. I need to just keep going. Why was this room so hidden away? Why was this one so important? Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's the pool. There's got to be something here. After all that trouble, there has to be something here. Amy! Uh, okay. There has to be someone here. Urabe! Hi! Collapsed on the ground was somebody both my companions clearly knew. She wore the same uniform as Yamamoto. Both Fukudo and Yama Yamamoto immediately ran her to her side and began attempting to rouse and console her. Are you asleep? Okay, good to see you too. Frightened out of her mind, the now conscious schoolgirl slapped away Yamamoto's outstretched hand and shot to her feet. Mitsuki! What's going on, Urabe? Okay. She darted her head around wildly, surveying her surroundings quickly and frantically like a wide-eyed fawn who'd sensed a predator closing in. What on earth could have happened to her? It was as if her, as if her own paranoia had completely drowned out the sounds of her friends and classmates, to such an extent that she didn't even notice them. She was also perceptibly shaking, a lot more than she would from the cold rain alone, and her teeth were chattering. Something had truly spooked her. Okay, are we talking about Kisami or are we talking about the big zombie man with the hammer? Okay. See you later, Emmy. It was nice meeting you. Okay. 
徘徊する殺人鬼とでも接触したのか俺も追うべきなんだろうがそこまでする義理もないか<笑>あの二人は一緒に眉を探してくれたからできるなら力になってやりたいが向こうもゴタゴタしているみたいだし巻き込まれるのはごめんだな俺は俺で眉を探そうもともと一人の方が性に合ってるんだし OK well I didn't have a choice apparently Oh, and we're just teleporting in between the. Oh. Okay. Oh, how did you make the theme song creepy? Oh my god. Where are we going? Okay. We're just skipping around everywhere. 私は武蔵川女子中学校1年6組アマトヤナリナーナというのは私の幼なじみのあだ名小笠原ナナさっきまで一緒にいたんだけど廊下を歩いているうちにはぐれてしまった Wait, the one that died in the,、uh, other one, right? 同校舎が一人いるんだけどこの子がまた実に頼りない待ってナリちゃん足疲れた、はあ、これでもう何度目の泣き言だろう。This was Chihaya Yamase, a fellow member of the drama club, never satisfied, but never willing to do anything about it. Drama fit her to a T. To a T. If Nana were with us, I'm pretty sure she'd give in to Chihaya's whining and insist we take a break, but I'm not Nana. I won't be guilted so easily. Yeah, so go to Swat Dena, yo. But she's a kick car. Yada! That it's got it, I look at nine, the show. I look at him. Wow, she, she's a little mean. It really was just like leading a child around. She was as spoiled as could be. I felt it wasn't possible for any human being to be more spoiled than Chaya. But it's not like I could really leave her behind, you know? She'd be dead in no time flat, as helpless as she was. They're going to the second wing. あんた家でも学校でも雷鳴るたびに誰かに抱きついてるわけうん。ナーちゃんがいるだけだ。<笑>大体ナーナちゃんに。She's like, yeah, I do. はあ、私はナーナの代用品かナリちゃん、怒ってる別に、とにかく行くよ。ナーナ探さなきゃ。あんたも代用品じゃなくて、早く本物に抱きつきたいでしょ <laughs> yeah, I don't want the substitute. <laughs>、uh... Oh, the head. Oh, they came from the second building. Okay, gotcha. They're coming over here. ナナちゃんいるのかなうん、ノー探すしかないじゃんナナだって私らのこと探してるはずだしすぐ会えるよすぐってどれくらいもしかしたらナナちゃんもうまた始まったもうそのパターンよしなよだってなかない私だって怖
Okay. Should we check the head? Decayed human head is unfortunately crammed into the top left cubby. Must have been easy to make. Okay, the, everything's the same. The description is the same. Okay. Well, yeah, I knew that too. Chia seemed almost as if she were trying to hide behind my body from the side of the severed head, and she wound up pushing me forward in the process. If she didn't want to see it, she could just not look at it. Why did she have to be so grabby? Worse still, she was pushing me right into the shelf, giving me an uncomfortably close view of the head. Not to mention the things crawling on it? Uh, these two aren't going to work together very well. Looking for a friend, are you? You sure she's really your friend? Maybe you're the only one who thinks so. Okay. Thanks for that laugh. Uh, alrighty then. Wait, we're in the girls' room? Where are we? No, that's the exit. How? It's all flipped around. Okay, I'm so confused right now. Because the map's flipped over. Okay. Uh, yeah, boys' room? Music room. Oh, we are in the second wing. I am... I'm so confused because the head wasn't in the second wing, was it? It was in the first one. Oh, hey. The boys' room entrance is completely boarded up. There's no way to get inside right now. There's not, but there's a body here. It's a thoroughly decomposed corpse. Okay. Do you know what lies beneath this school? It's a mire of agony and torment that can drive a man to madness with a single touch. Yes, I know. I'm I'm confused as to why this chapter is jumping around with so many different characters, though. All the other chapters have been focusing on, like, two, maybe three characters. This one, like, changes perspective a lot. Okay, so nothing over there. Before I go downstairs, let's see what's over here. It's just weird. I don't know if it's all going to tie in together or how that's going to work. Obviously, this is, like, supposed to be the most disturbing chapter from what I've read and heard. Uh, so, I figured it was going to be a little bit longer and there's going to be more grotesque death scenes. I just don't know what to expect. So far, whole lot of nothing. No other bodies, no other nothings. Let's we'll see if we can go into the staff room first. There's a large hole in the floor here blocking its way through this hall. Okay, so we can't go this way. Which is fine. Knowing where I can't go is just as important as knowing where I can go. Alright. Anybody else? Nothing yet. Uh... See, if we're in the second wing, though, we might run into uh, Kizami and Yuka, right? Anything here? Anything good? I'm dead now. All I've done since I got here is watch out for her. All I've done is protect her. I wish I hadn't bothered. Because in the end, she died too. Stupid, 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 Kill her, 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 get me back my life, okay. Okay then, somebody's a little bit bitter. A little bit. These are portraits of influential people connected with this school, or possibly with this classroom specifically. Not an uncommon thing to find. In the atmosphere though, it really looks like they're all staring directly at you, no matter what angle you view them from. It's creepy! Alright, anything else in the music room that I can use or need? Uh, can't click on the cabinet, so let's go to the piano. No. What? Seriously. <sighs> How do you drop a pouch on a piano? Seriously? That's the kind of jump scare you're going to give me, course party? Good night. I don't see anything else. So, nothing in the music room. 
go down this way. And we'll go down a floor. I don't know, maybe I'm just supposed to run into somebody or something here, because nothing's happening. But Monishige heard Mayu, and then we trailed out of that. Um, Fukuroi and, uh, I forgot her name again. Uh, they're chasing Emmy. So, I don't know. I don't know why we're following these characters now. This is strange. Strange and exciting, and also slightly terrifying, because I'm sure there's so many things I can miss. So many things I can do wrong. And let's hope I don't screw it up too much. Alright, I think that room's open. That's the art room, right? Anybody in here? There's been people in here before. The canvas is blank, or it might be anyway. There seems to be a faint, almost imperceptible stain across it, roughly in the shape of a human torso, but it might just be the lighting. Maybe. Maybe just the lighting. Or it's actually a torso. Nothing here seems to be particularly useful. Okay, same with that cabinet. Anything else good? Entire canvas is covered from corner to corner with realistic scale drawing of flies. Thousands upon thousands of them. Well, somebody had some time. Inside of the cabinet is blood red throughout as if somebody very carefully painted it that way. Actually, wait. Isn't that a tube of red paint inside? It looks unopened. In fact, it looks completely untouched. There's not even the slightest indication that anyone has so much as moved that tube of paint in years. Which means the red coloring must be from a different store. Alright. Again, lack of progress. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I've been wandering a lot in this episode. At least you guys won't have to watch the first part of the wandering because it was completely pointless. I don't think anything meaningful happened while I was wandering around looking at everything but this you never know I could stumble across a body right here right now the dull gloomy corridor suddenly lit up brightly for just a moment was it lightning we weren't near any windows and there was no thunder well that's oh shiny shiny give me the shiny give me the shiny there's a glinting in the dim light sat a, uh, sat what appeared to be a component from some electronic device. In contrast with everything else in the school, it seemed to be a fairly recent item. A decade old at most, but likely much newer. Looks like a battery. Or a camcorder? Maybe? Might as well take it with us, I figured. Though, if I gave it to Chiaya for safekeeping, it would no doubt wind up on the ground again somewhere, so I decided to just pocket the thing. Yeah, cause she freaking puts pouches on pianos! I still can't believe she did that. Okay, reference room is up here. Alrighty then. Let's see... Besides that one shiny thing, which again, I would have missed if I didn't go room by room. I hope this this method is working. Door to the is frozen in place. Okay. There's no bucket here, is there? No bucket. No nothings. All right, so we need to go back this way. See if we can find anything beneficial. <sighs> this would be extremely tiring if like you're actually in this situation. If you were actually truly walking around in a school like this, it would A, be terrifying, and B, this school is huge. Like, ginormously huge. Anything else? You know, this wing doesn't have a whole lot of things to search. Not much going on here. Oh, the girls' room seal is open still. That was this wing, right? Okay, so we got this and that. Is this really? Is it all connected? Wow. Okay. Oh, it's blocked off up here. Got it. So I was packed tightly with desk. It won't be possible to get up to the third floor from here. Okay, so we got to go in the girls' room. I might save here soon because I don't remember the last time I saved. At least there's two girls going into the girls' room as opposed to the last time when somebody got stabbed in the eye, Fukudoi, for peeking. 
I can't look at that note. What do you want? There's no indication of anyone occupying any of these still stalls, yet anyone, every one of them seems to be locked from the inside. Okay. So there's nothing here I can do. It's us. God, we look terrible, but then we haven't eaten a thing since we got here. And we certainly haven't been able to rest for even a moment. There's an excessive amount of human hair jamming the drain, generating an intermittent sucking noise that makes sound like it's gasping for air. Ugh, the stench is indescribable. Seems to have attracted thousands upon thousands of tiny bugs that have transformed in the white the white basin into a black mass. Okay. Nothing. There's nothing here. Okay, so there's gotta be something in one of these rooms that I'm missing. Because <clears throat> there's absolutely nothing else that... Wait, no. I think this stairwell took me up and the other one maybe took me down? Is that what I'm missing? Maybe that's what I'm messing up on. Let's, let's go back up the stairwell. First floor to second floor. So we would go down to the first floor. And then the other side there's a stairwell. I don't know if it takes you to a different floor though. Let me look and see what it said. First floor to second floor. Okay. But then they say that the third floor is blocked off? I don't know. It's worth a shot. There's nothing else here. Oh! That didn't happen before. On the other side of the hole, there was now a man collapsed on the ground. I couldn't see any obvious wounds on him, but he wasn't moving at all. It was hard to ascertain the details in this dim light, but he seemed to be a bit too big to be a middle schooler or high schooler, and he wasn't wearing a uniform. How can you tell that from here? I can't see a thing. <laughs> Still no response. Why, why would you throw something? Is he, is he dead? Let's throw something at him. Oh! It's the cameraman! It was a fairly expensive looking DV camcorder. And a well-worn one at that, with dings and chips all over it. Nonetheless, it looked like it probably still worked. <laughs> Chihaya, stop. What? Why are we hopscotching over the place? Yeah, that was Taguchi. Taguchi, that's right. The names, they, they like pop in at random points. Okay. Taguchi is lying on the floor over there, even though he's supposed to meet up with Mojishiga at this entrance, but now he's in the second wing? Okay, got it. I think I'm making sense of it. I'm sorry if I just sound like I'm rambling. It's just whatever comes off the top of my head is usually what I say, which is terrible. It's a bad thing to do. You should think about what you say before you say it, which is probably what everybody tells you. Not you specifically. It tells me. Let's put it that way. All right, Mojishiga. Maya. Uh, she's more than injured. けがはしてないか。怖くはないか。くそ。あ、タグチさんは何やってんだ。遅いな。何が情報交換だよ。そんなことしてる暇があったら、俺は眉を。くそ。くそ。<笑> Why? Why are they so connected? Is it because she's been nice to him when everybody else wasn't? Or why? Uh. In my agitated state, I kicked a pair of hallway slippers that was sitting on the ground nearby. And they flew right into the dead girl's face. <laughs> Oh my god, he's losing it. Little bit! Oh, 
I grabbed her jaw and began shaking it around and was a bit startled by the sensation. It felt just like I was touching living flesh. Except this person was very, very cold. Cold as a statue. A statue covered in skin and muscle, but a statue nonetheless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the darkening is taking effect. That's... That's what's funny. It's like, oh, you weren't talking to me. I was talking to a dead person. What is wrong with him? すじつまいなら君も反論できたろうし俺の方の一発も引っ張ってけただろうにねうーん残念だなえっとあ階田アリサさんさっきも言うのはもう迷い見つからないぞ大事この子は何の罪もない被害者じゃないか<笑> His, his mind and body are slowly separating into two separate entities. Oh, that's awesome. Oh.皮膚が垂れ下がり目玉は生卵みたいにこぼれ落ちる。トイレの便器よりもひどい悪臭を振りまきながら腹は玉を顔も口の中もウジ虫の餌になっちまうんだ。God, I don't know who his voice actor is, but holy crap, they're creepy. That laugh. そうなる前にそうだな。He's gonna take a picture. 綺麗な君の姿を残しておいてやるよ。He's gonna take a picture. It lasts longer. I flipped my cell phone back on and switched it to camera mode, centering the lens on the lovely Miss Kaida. Didn't he say earlier in this chapter that he was going to delete all the images, and now he's taking more? Her slashed and broken gaze was focused ahead of her at a downward-facing angle, yet in contrast to these injuries, she wore a peaceful expression on her face, almost as if she were posing for me, just waiting for me to hit that shutter button. Mm. いい絵になりそうだ。いいね。アンダルシアの犬って映画を知ってるかい。今の君にぴったりだよ。What? <笑><笑> そんな気がするよ。だってほら。この硬直した方のラインなんか。ああ、あ、失礼かもしれないけど。エロティックだ。この手首の傷も。He <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. He's more than lost it. I tried poking her wound with my finger and I heard a moist Squishy sound as my fingertip was swallowed up. Oh, God. She'd gone cold, but I guess there was still some blood left in her. Either that, or decomposition was already well underway. I pushed further in, digging my finger through the gaps between her muscles until it struck something smooth and hard. Why is he sticking his finger in a corpse? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just real quick, we're still 72%. He hasn't gone 100% psycho bonkers yet. Is this supposed to happen? As I drew my face into her forehead, a few particles of perfume scented the foul odor of sweat and sebum that had heretofore been ass assaulting my nostrils. Bleh, I can't read. What is wrong with him? 
ろくに髪も洗えなかったろうに<笑>身だしなみを忘れないなんてけなげだねでも君にはこの刺繍と血の顔の方が似合っている絶対に Stop with the pictures, Broseph. We are so dark right now. Yeah. You know, de stress. Do what you need to do. Get a massage, take a walk in the park, take pictures of dead bodies, stick your finger in people's corpses. Yeah, you know, it's all the same. So, Tamatamata Tamatama Kokoni. Oh, my God. Takara Oliva. So, Yiba Taguchi Sanga Kesas and he tastes through Tamini. Kokono Stayo Totter to Kaitana. You're gonna justify with that. No, it's Zikan was Sigitir Taroshi. Sorosara. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Good God, this is creepy. But wow, what a roller coaster ride of just craziness. I was lost and just like frustrated at the beginning of the episode. Now I can't, I don't want to stop. I want to keep going, but I need to so that we have a good stopping point and we can continue on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's go. Okay. What? Oh, 64% darkness. All right. That's why we went that way, huh? Okay. Weird. Very, very weird. Oh, God. Is that the one, or have you been getting handsomer by the day? My dear, I'm as sober as a brick, and you're still steamy like a hot bun. These two. Are you serious? When I looked in your eyes just then, it's as if I'm hearing the gentle waves of the ocean. She just smacked his butt. Oh, you naughty little vixen. <laughs>